It's not Friday, it's Sunday. It's not Friday, it's Sunday. Good evening. It's Sunday. It's not Friday. <laughs> it's, it's our old day. It's our old day. Yep. Because there was something on on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great result for Scotland it was. Mm. Oh, it was you celebrated it like it was a win. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it really did. It really did. How is everybody doing? Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Yes, definitely so. Daddy's Day. <sighs> How are we all doing? Are we all okay? Yeah. We are, I think. I'm alive. Are we all glad the weather's Thanks, cooled man. down a wee bit? Still warm yes. by me. Uh, oh, it's warm, it's I just interrupt the show. Christopher Mosson's in the chat. Happy birthday, Christopher. Happy birthday, Christopher. You share it with Happy the Alex V show. And yes. Father's Day. And yeah. Father's Day to me. Father, oh, for fuck's sake, Bridget. Josh, you're coming through mono, apparently. Am I? Right ear bias. <laughs> What's left ear? <laughs> right ear bias. I don't know what that is. Let me check. I'll go get the pledge back out. I really am as well, aren't I? That's weird. Hold on. Let me work it out. Let me work it out. Let me work All it right, out. All right, yeah. I got a brand new combine harvester. <laughs> I really am coming through mono. So I've got a new interface, and it's the first time I've used it, and I forgot that I was using it. So yeah, Josh is partial. The rest of us just plug our microphones into our computers. Okay. Extra hot. I just sit down and. Have... <laughs> <laughs> and don't touch that's what I do I sit down and don't touch and nicely glitched as you said it as well there <laughs> <laughs> I uh, <can't> touch <laughs> I understand tonight we have a, a special long cool wall seeing as it's our second birthday show it feels a tad longer than two years I don't know yeah. if that's a good thing or a bad thing that's why I did say, what, about two weeks ago? It was three years, because it felt like three years we've been on air. Yeah, it does feel a while, but it also doesn't yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, it is really weird. Time yeah. flies, you having fun. It does, and, it does. And going back through some of the old videos, it, yeah. How we've, of, pro how we've progressed. Oh, God, we've progressed massively yes. in such a short time. Well, yeah, it's, it's not exactly that long, but... Well, no. then you let me onto the panel and you just went back down. <laughs> yeah, when we let the, the other the two on. The riff raft. Yeah, when we let the riff raft in, it went downhill. Oh, what have I done? Now, that one up there and that one up there. You don't know, we don't know, look. No, I think I've sorted it. I, I haven't sorted my audio. I think, I think my computer re requires a restart to do that, so we definitely can't do that. <laughs> no, <laughs> although we did do that last week when I was in charge. <laughs> you also did a green screen several times over. I don't know if you know where that green screen came from. <laughs> I got quite a bit of swearing. <laughs> Vinny's computer having a meltdown because he's not used to being worked that hard. Oh. Hey, it's getting progressively more pissed off at the, the jokes getting made by Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Pull a zippy and get on your mobile. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, no. Funny saying that, pretty much, well, except for Vinny and Andy, the rest of us would actually did use our phones. Me and Zippy did for quite yeah, some time. He did. <laughs> I think Zippy probably still would be if he was still on. That's because uh, his computer's broke. Uh, but then okay. again, it's an Apple. So they ever come out of the factory working. Well, yeah, they'll come out of the factory working for about three days, don't they? 
and then they yeah, yeah, and then the warranty's up, and then they can't fix it. Yeah, sounds about re. Right, while Josh is fiddling, I will go around the rest of us and show what we are vaping while Josh fiddles. So, Haley, get your plugs in for your vape fry. Don't you mean? <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> I will blow her up here. I don't care. You know I'm a little child. I'm quite happy to show you that. All right, so I've got my Aegis X with your favourite Asgard. Asgard. <laughs> And I've, I've got a combination on there. I've got tub dumpings, coffee and cream. But I worked out that if I mix it with the Irish cream, I get an Irish coffee. <laughs> I've been quite happily enjoying that. So we're just laughing at Simon. Oh, God, what's he doing? He's taking the piss out of me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's usual, isn't it? Yeah. He's not to take the out of me. It'll come. <laughs> yeah, it does, and then retribution, and he regrets it. Then I'm on. No, we don't. Oh yeah, he does. The dot mod, like off Josh, it's so pretty. The, the most travelled dot mod ever. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-five minutes from its original home. Yeah. Well, it's not that travelled <laughs> from you to me to Haley. So. Yeah, now you quite Josh. have it at one point. No, 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 no. He had his own. And now ah. it's staying with me. It has a forever home. I'm even getting it pretty doors and going to pimp my mod. Well, I managed to change. Well, it I to... like accessories. Yeah. I managed to change it to left ear bias, so sorry, you'll have to deal with it for tonight. Yeah, and you're a bit quiet, Josh. Again, is that better? That's better. Is that much better for you? I've got juice and power, rainbow sweets on there. Ooh. Any riot squad? No. The <laughs> what a shocker! But yeah, and yes, I have my little vape flyer, my little baby. It's so tiny. <laughs> the Galaxy Thirty Watt Mod. They are dinky. They do look really nice. This is my bottle opener. This is my mod. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand why Simon's with you then. Anything dinky <laughs> looks big. <laughs> I like it. My hand, I'm happy. Can't deal with all the people. <laughs> oh. I'm moving on very quickly. I'm on green <laughs> from IVG, and I've got the Welsh one. IVG? Yeah. Jesus, are they not dead? I thought they died years ago. No. After the little fiasco. After the no, million no. saga. Yeah. And they're doing special promotion bottles at the moment for the um flotty whatever it is foosball so i've got whales and that's me i've got three little setups lovely jubbly go on chris shows your usual a touch up yeah with right squad and this one is yuzu grenade which is a lemon one how do yes, you yuzu is a japanese lemon yeah. okay well there you go um Obviously, Mr. Hog. Never good without that thing. <laughs> and so, custard crack. The custard crack. Custard and that's it. caramel. Custard crack. I really do regret that little tack that I did on that review. <laughs> <laughs> it grinds on me now. It really does. It's like that, that saying for that juice is like taken off so well. Like everyone just calls it custard crack. Yeah. Oh, is that Tom? Yeah, it's Tom. Hey, Tom. It's on his way, buddy. <laughs> Go on, then, Lloydie. What beautiful things have you got going on? What bike uh, variety products you on this week? <laughs> I am on the Atocha with the Coil Turd. Two Atochas, then. Yes. And inside that, I have Right Squad Sublime. Nice. Um, I have the Vaporone Murrells uh, with the Cali V2 on it. And then inside there, very fitting, I have the pepperoni custard crack. Two crackheads. <laughs> uh, um, Size the crack. We're, 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 we're all we're all crackheads, mate. <laughs> I have the K vapors pepperoni with uh, another uh, coil turd on there. Uh, is it coil turd? Are for vape? Whatever. Uh, with some awesome uh, lime juice in there. That's me. Lovely jubbly. 
But I've gone a little bit old school tonight and got out uh, my AV medieval zombie splatter. Uh, reviewed it God knows how many years ago, and I'm literally using it for the first time probably since then. Um, on there, I've got some very well steeped the Jamful Dodger from Dark Star, as you can tell by the label. That's been sat on my shelf for a long while. And I'm also vaping wherever it's gone my fatality with my Kalito, my lazy vape. And in there, I currently have some. I want to call them killer vapes again. It's not. It's quick vape, quick vape. strawberry cake. And that's me for this evening. I, I, Josh, uh, are you all sorted now, my friend? Now nah, you'll just have to have me in mono because to order to get it to stereo, my computer requires a restart, so it's not going to work because otherwise... We just to leave it like that, then. Yeah, people can still hear me. That's fine. I was saying you're coming through stereo for me. Uh, yeah, it's because you're getting me for the Zoom feed. Yeah, yeah, it was not through the OBS the... feed. Yeah. So there's something weird with OBS, but in order to do it, I need to shut yeah. it down and restart it. So we'll sort that out for next week. That's fine. Um, what am I on? I am on... I'm on my Lost Vape Centaurus with uh, an OG goon on top and a half... I thought that was a goon. Tip. Yeah, OG goon. Looking a bit dirty. He needs a clean, but... No, it doesn't. It looks lovely. It's well aged. And that has Used. Some, uh, some sugar cookie for basics, if you can see it. Which is it can. That looks. Oh, what juice could they used to do bottles that look like that? I can't remember. The name this, one. Is, this is some glass, glass basics. They used to element, do... element vape. Yeah, I was about to say, do... it sort of reminds me of an element. Yeah. Yeah. They used to do those petri dish, not a petri dish, those little weird shaped bottles as yeah. well. And Their lemon was really nice. I've got a black siege with a uh, with an apocalypse with an autumn cap on the top. Yeah, the lan- is that the lantern one? That's the lantern cap, yeah. Yeah, and I, I've got one of them, and I don't know for the life of me where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> and that has in it some fried funnel cake. I went all, I went all cakey today in, in funnel in cake. <laughs> Funnel cake, yeah, funnel cake. Ooh. And then I've got uh, White Wicket number one with my Dwarf DL on top. And that has in it some, because everyone else seems to be vaping it, some Riot Squad, Black Edition, Ultra Peach Tea. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Riot yeah. Squad took over. And that is literally like the last of that bottle. It's gone. I've vaped it the last few days. And then I have Wicket number two, Sparkly Pellucid Wicket um, with tripod on top stick <clears> tuna's <throat> cap and that has in it some uh some fresh vape co urban avenue still not tried it we're gonna rock down to urban electric avenue. avenue next scene it can barely hear you josh josh if you want some more peach tea let me know oh some... i do like peach tea i'll send you some <laughs> peach oh, tea you. Ultra peach tea. Yeah. Ultra peach tea. It is very nice. Peach Never ice. heard of it or tried it. Peach iced tea. Sorry if I'm quiet, guys. I am only coming through one channel. I can't do anything about it unless I decide to fuck you all off, which I'm not going to do. Craig <laughs> says you sound good at that volume. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even Colin saying that. <laughs> I know. I, I can turn myself up a little bit more. Is this a little bit better for you? If I speak directly into the microphone? <laughs> Slight distortion, but yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my mic is Ooh, clear that like cherry that, cola. So. I do like a cherry cola vape. Mm. We tried yes. the new right squad cherry cola. That's really good. Clearly not. <laughs> Jesus Christ, are they sponsoring this show? <laughs> is there something I don't know? Yeah, Hayley's found a load of it. Is, <laughs> it, is, it, is this when we go on the cool wall and it's all Riot Squad flavoured juice? And I just want, to say, <laughs> just want to say hello to everybody in the chat. I've got a few people in the chat. Dark Nebula. Evening. Evening, Tom. Tracy. Nick. Craig. Some wanker called Chris Vapes. <laughs> what a, I've, heard, I've heard he's a massive cunt. Like, I've just, heard, just yeah, a he's a massive cunt. And a Jesus. proper freeloading pre shit on her as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're 10 minutes in, I've already dropped the C bomb. <laughs> <laughs> on a and Sunday as well. Well, Sunday's the only day for C bombs. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started, Josh. 
I might not stop. <laughs> yes, I know. Might not stop. Right then, guys, what are we going to do? <laughs> Take half of the world. Well, it is our second birthday. so It ha- is. We have ha- two terrible twos. Happy second. You think we were bad before. It's only going to get worse this year, peeps. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> it's just downhill from here, guys. Starting off with mono sound. <laughs> hey, at least I'm not on the ones and twos this week, so yeah. Uh... It's all on Josh, thank God. <laughs> no, I, I, I like I opened up I opened up OBS a minute ago. I was like, what the fuck is going on in here? And he's been here. So yeah, yeah I, I, do you know what? I almost did buy a cake, but then I realised I'm not with you guys, and that means I will eat an entire cake. I was gonna uh, make one, but I made cheesecake instead. Fair enough. I did see that cheesecake. I was very jealous. <laughs> cheesecake cheesecake I do like a cheesecake <laughs> what surprise mm. a big fat bloke likes cheesecake it was that oh. old recipe so I made cheesecake cake or death well I'll choose cake <laughs> I'll choose cake you death can't buy cake you can't we're, we're out of cake right now you're going to have to choose death <laughs> no <laughs> Oh, so what's everyone vaping in the chat? I know we've seen one up places on a drag X with the last of those up cherry cola. What are the rest of you vaping this evening? Simon's Who's... sending dirty messages to Hayley. No, Tom oh. says he'll be on whatever of any sound. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, you, you're getting the smock set up, and I've also included a load of Zeus juice. Was it Zeus? Yeah. I, remember Zeus now. I think it was Zeus juice. I filled the yeah. box up so the box is full. <laughs> you need to let me care that Zeus just says, got a hair Tom. I just fall for it all in, you know. Mate, it's better than packaging it out with packaging. But a little with yeah. some juice. <laughs> is that any better, people? I think I've managed to sort out my issue. Yay. You seem clearer very all of a sudden. Yeah, I've, I've fixed it. Well done, Josh. You did that in about three weeks quicker than I would have done. Three years. <laughs> <laughs> three weeks, really? Hey, come on, I've got better. Last uh, last week's show yeah, says different. An excellent person by the time he's in an old folks home at the age of 95. He can really like a pro. Andrew and George, how are you finding the new Seabrus tank on the age of solo? I'm quite eager to know. Oh, Hadley. Hadley had the idea. It's a proper banging flavour idea. Hadley's, Hadley's, Hadley's phenomenal. Yeah, I, I really regret selling mine. You can still really. get them. They've, they've, they've re-released a batch, haven't they? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you can pick them up again. Well, that's another one I nearly swallowed as well. It's a pretty small. Little... I wonder yeah. how you can swallow things. Because he deep throats them. Well, don't deep throat them. It's sucked too hard. <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> Jesus, you can have a set thing you can only fancy. You won't have to be a nurse. What do I need? <laughs> Kev is on a Minikin V1. And, uh, dinner oh, classic now. mod, Kev. Classic mod. I used to love Minikins. You've got to love a Minikin, man. Got to love yeah. A Minikin. Since I've got, I've only got the V3 now, and that's just a bit weird. Also, very annoying because it says the batteries are flat when you've still got 45% battery in them. Neck is on the God RDA with the top side light. Oh, sorry, Andrew. I thought you had the new one that came with the kit. I know they've released a new Seabrush, hasn't they? Yeah. Zeus, can't beat the Zeus, Craig. It's a cracking old tank. Cracking little time. There's some lovely little setups going on this evening for a Sunday. We got we got our Sunday bests out, have we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Yeah. 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 Okay, so how much have we actually got for the call tonight? Because Chris was trying to say there was a quite lot. a lot. We have nine call wall it, items. Is it all shit? 
No. <laughs> no, just your mods. Just your mod, Vinny. Just yours. I very rarely nominate a mod, Chris. You didn't have to nominate a mod. Every no one nominated one this week. Exactly no, one, no one's nominated, but yet everybody's nominated. And it was actually a cracking idea. You've done idea. it unintentionally. It was, it was a cracking idea from Chris. I was like, that's fucking genius. Awesome work. I praised Chris. Wow. <laughs> Kev, which, which, sorry, Kev, which abyss have you got? Kev's having issues with his mod and his abyss. Kev, if you contact the uh, Suicide Mods homepage on Facebook, they will sort that out. They will chance that they will just send you one of the V3s, which hasn't got the chip issue. Well, they knew the V2s were bad. Their, their, Brian Harrison's customer service is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't big him up enough for his customer service. It is spot on for all the companies he's involved with. Um. And that's not ask, it's in its fact. Evening, Mowgli. Someone said hello to Mowgli a minute ago, but I'm, did someone say hello to Mowgli a minute ago? Am I just fucking losing the plot? Yeah. Yeah, Kev, still contact them. Go to the uh, Suicide Mods homepage, it's a v- drop it's a v- them a message, it's and a v- they will sort it out. It's a V1, yeah, so just just, just drop a message. Yeah, chance are, they'll just send you one of the new ones out. Yes. Well, uh, Mowgli, I'm not entirely sure if it is backwards compatible with the older. I think, off the top of my head, it is. Um, but I no longer work with Geek Vapes, so I can't really say. Wankers. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah, well, uh, I could really go in and rant about that, but I'm not going to because I'll save that for another day. <laughs> A rant tonight would not go well. <laughs> yeah, no ranting right. tonight. It's a birthday. No, it's a party. It's party. It's, party. But, but it's our party, and we'll cry if we want to. We will. <laughs> no. right, my next ones are that smooth. I'm getting hyper on them because I'm forgetting to vape up the cow, so I'm just sucking on the mix up. Of course you are. <laughs> I'm going to absolutely space out. Probably not the best thing. I still remember the first time I vaped some mix salts and... I vaped it through a direct lung tank as well. Oh! <laughs> I, was, uh, I, was in, I was in the pub with my mate, and it's a pub we were allowed to vape in. I was like, I'll try this. I was like, all right. Fucking sweet. I like that. And literally, I had to hold on to the table. I'm like a high bar stool. <laughs> and, and, and I had to hold on to the table because I just went completely well. well you know, I, I, I did a thing about Nick Saltz and said why I'd stopped using them completely. I, in a week... Vaped about 750 mils of Nick Salt. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> and that's why I had some issues with Nick Salt. I literally got four ranges of Nick Salt into review and just battered the crap out of them. And yeah. <laughs> just so you all know, this is a surprise beer. I got this today for Father's Day in a random beer box, and everything on it is Polish. So I don't know what I'm drinking. <laughs> good. I bet it's strong though. Nah, I'll probably kick you off. Oh, she doesn't pull that well. Uh, it's got more head than Katie Price. <laughs> oh, you have to love a good head. <laughs> as, as, as Grim says, you've got to drink through the head like a man. Like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Ooh. Yes, I agree, Mowgli. The super mesh balls are banging for the uh, zebras. I've decided I don't like Polish beers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've gone back to Nick Salt's a little bit uh, through, through disposable pods, uh, mainly, because I'm not battering them like I used to. So uh, it's come in handy, especially that day. Was that this week or was that last week when I forgot my batteries for work? That was last week. week. Last week, and I pretty much just made Nick Salt through disposable pods all day, and I had a great day. <laughs> I have to say, I can remember, remember one night shift, I was on Nick Salt's. I was going to the expo in London, so I was excited. And the poor person I was working with, because I grabbed a towel and went, I'm the flash, zoom, and ran down the corridor. Simon, <laughs> I really hope that's true. What? The Lost Vape bought a mod out that was called Scrotum. The, sc- the, sc- <laughs> the scutum, but yeah, 
Yeah, yeah come on. You're going to see scrotum when you see that word, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, they did. I think it was, you know. I know there was something about a scrotum coming out. Yeah. <laughs> Plums. Yeah, you mean the tartan plums? <laughs> no, that's our law. He's got tartan plums. And they've now called it the Hyperion, which is already a mod company. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what you say. Infinity, Infinity, Infinity mods have yeah, a, Infinity a mod. Mods ha- Hyperion, don't they? Hyperion mod. Yeah. That's stunning, that mech. It is beautiful. Yeah. You see the Damascus Steel one that they brought out? It's not Damascus Steel! <laughs> It may be very... Really. It's not! It may be. It's not. It's the, not! Damascus still doesn't exist anymore. You can there you go! It, but it's not. This it's is not. the most durable DNA mod. It's a lovely mod. It's an absolutely lovely mod. Don't get me wrong, but they fucked up the naming completely. Well, one thing I will say is my scrotum is, is, not, is not rugged at all. <laughs> no, no, they're not. <laughs> is it waterproof and dustproof? Waterproof, dustproof. I'm not sure. Shockproof. <laughs> Definitely not shockproof. Not shockproof no. <laughs> Drop it and find out. No, I'm all right. Mm. <laughs> um, I've got to test my baby out next week. It's waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof. So I'm gonna... yeah. do it now. Do I've it done now. it loads of times in a bowl of water and live on reviews. Don't worry about it. They'll be fine. Yeah, no, so you're gonna do it live now. I drowned my scar in the sea by accident. So I was expecting piddly waves just to lift. No, fucking huge way. Oh, look at me and my 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 rigel or whatever the fuck smock call that fucking mug. Right. It right. fell in my it's base and it died. It's called that is a durable fucker. I have it's... like nearly run that over by accident and it's it worked. It's called the rigel. It's named after a star. Huh? <laughs> rigel. The rigel. Yeah. Sounds like Nigel. That sounds like Nigel. That's exactly well, what it, I thought. It is, it is like Nigel with an R, but it's named. He's on the Nigel tonight and give him a good suck. It's named after one of the biggest. <laughs> it's, it's named after. I bet you like to give Nigel a good suck. Named after oh, one of the biggest. Ever Just, just talking all over you, mate. Give it up. Like <laughs> oh, Mowgli knows his shit. They, they do, they do forget that I can mute all of you. So you know, fuck it. That's <laughs> fine. You did that to us before. We just carried on. Yeah. <laughs> carried on regardless. We didn't care. Andrew knows his shit. Cheers, Andrew. Right. Should we um, because because we've got a very extended call wall. Should we should we just crack on with said call <laughs> wall? Yes, let's crack on with the call wall because I have no idea what's there. Ke- Kev is put <laughs> Kev seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I had to let that through. Is it, well, I'm sorry, right. Kev, but if you get to only fans, you'd probably see it. Ke- Kev is purely <laughs> Kev is obviously purely twenty one seven hundred only nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> But what about the lipos? Twenty six six fifty. <laughs> right. Ah, Bram Stoker. Okay. Let's let's move on to the cool wall. Did you burp during that? Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh shit, was Mike's live? Yes. <laughs> I've you gone quiet, idiot. have I? I've gone quiet. Uh, uh, I don't you know why. Quiet you're belching. Bollocks. Sorry, people. I thought the mics was off. I do apologise for my horrible, disgusting manners. Uh. No, the, the, the mics are the... off. We be quiet. Literally. Have you ever known to be quiet? Mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yes, as it's our second birthday, so what we've done this well, what Chris very cleverly came up with is the idea of so the that's a misnomer. Is, that's a misnomer. <laughs> the call wall tonight is solely based on the first products we ever vaped on LXV that aren't already on the call wall. Okay. And trust me. I was there from about 7 p.m. until after midnight trying to find some that haven't already been on the list, mostly through Zippy. Nicely bo- <laughs> nicely boosting the views as well, Chris. Thank you for that. I didn't watch all of it. I just like, watched the first few minutes. No, that don't matter. That all counts. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for, and, and this isn't just the people on now, this is every single panel member, official panel member that has been on LXV. So that's why we've got nine mods. Are we official? No. Yes, you are now, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, so, we would have had 11. And, and we're going to do them in order as well. So from the first time you guys go, what are we vaping? And can you can you guess who did what we vaping first? <laughs> Show the mod, and I bet you I can guess who it was. Yeah, don't say what it is. Just say. Right. Well, uh, we we could play a little guessing game here, so I can see yeah. the person. I can see the person, and maybe you could try and guess the mod. From when we started, that's two years ago. I know. Mm. I can't remember three weeks ago. So the first person to ever do a what we're vaping, the first mod that was ever shown up that isn't already on the call, wall, so it's a little bit odd. The first one was Andy. It'll be immortal then. Oh, brother Andy. Hammer. Not a hammer, no. So, the first one we've got, and I can't believe we haven't already done this on the call wall. No, not. there are some that I watch and I'm like, we haven't done that. How have we not done oh, this really? one? So, the first hmm. one is, it's, it is an immortal, you are correct. And it is an exile. It's an exile parallel mod. In the exact same colour that he had. I've still not even touched one of them, which really hurts. Oh, man, that's such an amazing <laughs> mod, man. Excuse me. Yeah. There's a couple on there that I hadn't owned that I still to this day would really, really like to own. And that's one of them. That is really pretty. So we haven't gone at ease. We've literally just gone mods. So Andy's first mod that he vaped on the show that we haven't already rated was an Immortal Mods Exile. Now... I love the all, I, all I've heard from everyone that's owned one of these is how well they hit. Well, they fucking... But it is a parallel, so it's going to hit fucking hard because you can build low as hell on it. Right, Josh, for the rest of them, let's see if the rest of the panel members, <laughs> then you obviously know who they are, see if the rest of the panel members and the pe- and the viewers can guess who it was. Yeah, all right. Okay. We're, 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 we're going to move through them at a, at a bit of a pace because there is nine. Craig, they did that. it in uh, many colours as well as that. They did it in acrylic. Uh... Tiny and purdy. I won't even remember it. Well, I had I had two, so I had a black one and I had an acrylic one, which was purple and blue, and it was. Which was I remember stunning. you having that. That was yeah, stunning. stunning. Mod. Um, and I let that go Didn't you have that at the expo that where me and you first met? Yeah, I bought that at an expo. Yeah, because yeah, I remember you showing it me. Yeah. While well, we was talking to Ariel about Ford Escorts. <laughs> yeah, we were. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyway, I'm going to take the picture down. Um, yeah. Immortal Mods Exile, the first mod that Andy vaped on the show that hasn't already been called or nominated. I can't believe this thing hasn't been called or nominated yet. Um, I mean, I know where I'm putting it, so we can come to me last. Yeah. Um, yeah Ken's already said Sub-Zero in the chat as well. Um, I'm going to be... Oh, are we just doing it the mod in general or that specific one that you showed? The mod in general. You can do it as the mod in general, I think. Because... That's all right, because I fucking hate that colour. <laughs> as much as it has gone with my lantern cloud cap thing that I had, I absolutely hate that colour of Ultim. Absolutely hate it. Well, what's the word for it? Stabilised piss? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'd, for me, it'll go sub zero purely off the way that you guys that have had it. Um, actually, Josh is the only one who's here who's had it. It was the way it hit. But the acrylic ones were really, really beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It, it, I mean, it's still to this day the hardest hitting mech I've ever owned by a distance. But it is a parallel as well. So it, it, it should be. You know, it is a parallel. I was and I, lucky and I... enough to try one at Expo. And yeah. A lot, a How come I didn't? Because it's you and you probably would have swallowed yeah. it. Or was I off with Smock by then? He's probably right. Uh, yeah, up oh, Smock's ass. yeah. He was whoring himself. I don't know how to do that these days. Quite, <laughs> clear, yeah. quite clearly, because I've got no fucking reviews. <laughs> <laughs> You've had one as well, Nick. Sorry, my friend. Yeah, you had the black one, didn't you? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Going, I'm, I'm going sub zero, of course. I'm going yeah. sub zero. Sub zero. Is that sub zero for that? Tartan plumes. Sub zero. <laughs> Tartan plums. 
I'm going to give you a plug, Lloyd. Everyone go check out Titan Plums. I mean, Plumes on YouTube. <laughs> Lloyd has just started his first review channel, so go check it out. Titan Plumes. All one word. Thank you, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> I need to lay off the um, JB. All I heard was Josh likes heart in black one. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. You're correct. So... <sighs> The next panel member was Zippy. Oh, good, oh, good, good old friend Zippy. And again, I, I still, I still completely <laughs> ignored what you said, Chris. We <laughs> wasn't saying who it was. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm getting that. Zippy, right? I think this one will be Zippy. You even confirmed. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought we were going the other way around. I thought we were going to say the person and let them guess the mod. We could do, no. d- do the mod and let them guess the person. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah. But, well, I'll, for, just for this one, then let them try and guess what Zippy had. There. And I still can't believe this hasn't been up on the call wall yet. We've done a half moon squonker. No, drag acts. Uh, too soon for the drag act. Well, no, because Chris said it took him a while to find out one for Zippy. Did he have a billet box? No. No. Have a good one, Mowgli. There's always the hacker as well. I've oh. got a hacker. Yeah, but, but it's two. Think further back. This is two years ago. Oh, so you actually found one two years ago. It, well, on YouTube it said a year ago, but it would be roughly coming up to two years. I can't think. Um, Boise cracker. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> that would have been me. <laughs> v one and V two. Right, so we'll we'll we'll. we'll... Well, well, it was, and we obviously haven't because we've thought already we done had. the pocket rocket, Trace. We've already, yeah, I did the pocket rocket. I thought it was, but apparently we haven't done. Was it Smock Express? Now be Vinny. Apparently we haven't done a half moon mod squonker. <laughs> no, I said that. No, that was the only one where I could find where you could actually see the aluminium on the side. That is pretty. Yeah. yeah I, nice. They the beautiful, are. beautiful squonks. If I remember right, that's the acid green. But they do have a major limitation that all squonks have. The dreaded voltage drop. Mm. But they are fan. They're nice mods. <coughs> They're beautiful. They're beautiful looking. A bit oh. like the pocket rocket, which I've got sat just here on my desk. Um, absolutely beautiful mods. But, yeah... I opted for other squonks over it myself. Mm. Um, I'm more, well, eh, I was about to say I'm more about the performance and the hit than the looks, but these days that's kind of changed a bit more. I'm more about the looks. Because I had my... Uh, really I had the performance. I have to say, are people using squonks now? Because I hardly see them. It's yeah. a... Very, very niche market, I suppose. It's it's a different hmm. different. There's a whole market out there for it, but it's a different. The thing is, squonks have gone back up to high end again, as they yeah. were before. So what happened was squonks were high end, and then Tony, Tony B, bought squonks to the masses. Yeah. And then everyone had them for a while, and then they've sort of gone back up to that high end market again. I think it's crazy. You can now buy a brand new Pulse for about eight quid. Yeah. 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 That- Love my squonks by accident. I kind of pressed too hard and it just slid all over the place. Oh, <laughs> I literally get a mouthful of liquid because I've just flooded the poor thing. Yeah, I I was a messy squonker. That's why I, <laughs> I, I, I... surprised me, Vinny. <laughs> That's why I like the uh, SQ topside squonk. And that's the only squonk yeah. I've still got, I think. Hayley, I don't think he's ever Googled squonk. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I do want to try that uh, Requiem, Requiem Squonk. The Requiem. The Vandy Vape. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, it's totally been released, that new one. Is that it? Yeah, yeah they've released a new one. Because it's got the Requiem RDA on top, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, yeah. Not, that's not Tony V, though. No, well, I know he's released one, hasn't he? A new Pulse that's got. Well, it did initially have Bluetooth connectivity in it, but they couldn't find the Bluetooth chips this time round for the second batch. You can't, you so can't they've find dropped... chips anywhere. Yeah, Why apparently... do you want Bluetooth in your mind? Tough, tough. I have a few. <laughs> I 
speakers <laughs> so you can you know puff smoke at people and annoy the fuck with your music as well it's awesome your phone already has speakers built in and more likely will be a hell of a lot better quality than a mod would have. Yeah, but you know what's really fun is hiding your mod and freaking the fuckers out because they wonder where the music's coming from. <laughs> you could do that with Bluetooth speakers. Yeah, it's but... not better saying quality. Yeah. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't particularly matter. Yeah, but if someone's going to look in my bag and go, why has she got Bluetooth speakers? They see a mod. Oh, she's a vapor. They're one of them got scary music coming out of it. They don't realise. We're, right. voting, we're voting on the HMM squad right now, people. We've got right. a bit sidetracked. Right. I had one. I had the candy flush. And my God, it was purdy. Uh, Hayley, you would have gone gaga for it. I was to say, candy flush, what the hell did that one look like? It was like a pink and blue. Pink and blue. Yeah. And they all come with the matching drip tip. Oh. Oh, that's an ace touch. Yes, I used to have the layer cake with mine, which was a good RDA, very good RDA. It was a shit RDA. <laughs> I, I liked it. Yeah, it was just no tiny, problem. but that was it. But then again, it was a single call RDA. I mean, I had I, I had quite a few of the half moon mod squonks over the time because at one point I was on the HMM team, so I did have a few of them. Um, I had. I might have to look for one, especially now the candy floss one. I might have to go and look for that. I had my purple one, which was fucking stunning. I had a red one. I had a couple of others as well, um, and they're they're beautifully made. Um, they they there was a few issues with them. I mean, the internals on especially on the V ones weren't great. The twos got better when they did make them solid silver, which helped. Um, yes. But they, they do have issues with wear and, and the five ten was a bit iffy. Yes. Um, yeah. But as as a mod goes, it absolutely I mean th- that they used to so what they do is they get the resin block, the aluminium block, put them together and then machine it as one piece. Yeah. So you couldn't even tell there was a join. Like no, is, no. Was, the workmanship is stunning. Absolutely stunning and, I mean, and everything I mean, else. It was just the performance that let it down yeah. for me. I mean So mm-hmm. I I'm just gonna put it cool. The Murphy, the Murphy brothers make some amazing stuff. Um, they do. And Pat is, Pat is. Oh. Nope. I think Haley took a offence to that. <laughs> Pat, Pat is one of the funniest, loveliest dudes you ever yeah. meet in your life. Um, I've had the privilege. Do not meeting. tell the Curry story again. Yeah, well, <laughs> again. It wasn't. It's, the, it's not that the Chinese as well. The Chinese was worse. But, uh, <laughs> That, that, mate, that, that Chinese man. I can't go into too much detail about the Chinese. But, uh, <laughs> the, uh, that Chinese is legendary, legendary man, legendary. I've I've been lucky enough to go to two of the Chinese at expos, and it is just like, oh, they royalty everywhere. Blah blah blah. Yeah, it's it's just it's just insane. I don't know how I managed to blag myself getting into those two, but I did. <laughs> That's a good black man. It really is. Come on, let's have your votes. Yeah. Quick I'm fire going... votes. Lloyd, vote. Sub. 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 Hayley. Sub. Chris. Sub. What are you changing your name to now? Not... We all know We all know that's fraud, Chris. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> Sub-Zero. That's what he's advertising for. Sub-Zero for me all day long. There it goes. Sub-Zero then, Chris. Yep. Just uh, they're they're all talking about the Asmodus pumper in the chat. The, the word yeah, pumper has the... been used far <laughs> too many times. The yeah, Asmodus pumper was quite nice. It was just the pumping system one great. Yeah. Yeah, needed so... more, needed uh, a bit more delicacy to it. Right. So, yeah, the... so I the always next... do the same thing with drippers. So I always so end we're... up just. Um... Ah, sorry. We're we're saying <laughs> the mod. You're saying the mod, and you've got to guess the person, right? Yeah. yeah. Put the mod up, and we'll guess the person. Right. I know where this one will go. This, this, if you don't get this, then you're all idiots. <laughs> I'm this, an idiot, then. Just this, come is, this is, again, another beautiful mod. It's another mechanical mod. It is the Morningstar Reactor. <laughs> the Morningstar Reactor. That is, that, the, the particular picture there is the Groot version. I actually, uh, I actually owned one of those. Uh, but it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to guess, Chris. I own that exact. I, have no. got, I think I own that exact mod. 
<laughs> I was like, trying to find some pictures of some of these mods isn't as easy as it, as you would have thought. Well, the first three, I have pictures of all of them looking amazing because I should take pictures of all of them. All right. of them. <laughs> can I just check all the panellists' names so I can make sure I've got them all? There's, Paul, there's Andy, Zippy, Vinny, me, Josh, Rabbit, Josh, Rabbit, Paul, and then you two. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. Yeah. Can I just say, it looks really nice in person as well. <laughs> <laughs> Only you, Vinny. <laughs> I wonder who it could belong to now. Oh, I forgot about that. That's... You know what really pisses me off? I haven't used this mod probably not far from long after that show. Because I lost the battery contact. Oh, shit. Can I get a new one? I've asked God knows how many times for a new one and still not got it. I just don't know where it went. And it proper pissed me off because it's a lovely, lovely mech. And, yeah, and we all love Oggy. <laughs> Vinny's mod. Yes, Kev? My mod. Can I chat that none of us have this concept of we're meant to be guessing who, not actually showing who it is. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. So, you know. Me, both me and Josh know. It's a... well, and I knew who that was because it's me. <laughs> yeah, and you was kind of giving the game away originally because you were going. <laughs> I was looking at the picture, I was like, that's that, that, is that one of my pictures. I actually thought that was my picture for a second. I'm going to guess Vinny, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I have a just, funny feeling it might be... No. I just happen to have a box of mechs at my feet as well. <laughs> <laughs> not sat doing? right on the top. I've not sorted the studio out yet. That is so cool. You can't have them at your feet. <laughs> that is just wrong. There's, there's two boxes like that down there. Oh, man. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> Expecting the mods. All full of mechs. They're all in the packages. Still. It's like a graveyard for me. <laughs> graveyard. Right, Rig, uh, Rogue, Morningstar, AV, uh, TVL, late, later, Mortal. Later on, the on LX, later on the LXV page, I might put up a few of my old pictures of some of these mods. I've just sent a few of some of the chats so you can see. They're really purdy. My, my sort of level of photography oh, skills. I wonder where that RDA would go. That's that. That's if you see in the chat. That's the exile, the the resin one. If you can see it. Yeah, I see that. It's real pretty. That was a fucking mech. That was. Vinny, you do worry me. Why? But so we get. So we know that's Vinny's mod. <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah, especially when he holds it up in the camera. Yeah. See, all my mods have been took out of here. They're all now in my little vape corner, so I can't hold mine up. Mine won't fit in a vape corner. <laughs> I just found my resurgence. Right, so that box. What are we voting on this one? I mean, for me, it goes nowhere but Sub Zero because it's a f fucking absolutely stunning mod. Simple as. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, Oggy's work is amazing. Second to none machine, and, and the only man I would ever choose to make my own mech mod. So, yeah, Sub Zero. Lloydy. Hey, Sub. Hey, Lou. Sub. Sub this is them. Jesus, three subs in a row. I mean, they are all like. So yeah, just sort of take that the picture. <laughs> you know, I've got a feeling I know what one my, my one's going to be. Uh, I don't think it's going to make sub for some reason. That's a thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got guess. I got you. Yours could be a few, uh, Lloyd. Actually, Chris. I Remember what I had, and I know one of mine's already on the call walls, so it can't be that one. Well, I only have a feeling I know what mine is because Chris asked me for pictures here late last night. <laughs> yeah, because I couldn't find one at all. <laughs> no, I did that. Picture, now I've got a pretty good idea what that will be. Chris, I was on the cram held, but obviously that went on the call wall, so I have no fucking idea what else I was saying. <laughs> right, next one, Josh, and take down the reactor picture. Oh, yeah, sorry, forgot about that. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the next one, it, the next mod is, uh, you've, you, I know, I know, I know someone will get this straight away. It is a uh, Lassimo F4. Yeah, I know who this was. Long time viewers of the show will know who this was. 
Yeah. Lloyd, it's basically down to Lloyd and Eddie, because I, I know exactly who had that mod. It's... Where's, where's the picture? Where's the picture? I'm still waiting for the picture to come up. <laughs> <laughs> He's too busy looking on his Instagram page. I'll put his my, pictures. I'll put my, I'll put, oh, that's fucking... It's fugly. It is fuck ugly. You are correct. Uh... I have to say that looks ugly. But it can fit a massive tank. They were built as a regulated mod version for the Titan. On there, you could literally fit the Titan tank on it easily. I still have space. Quite a lot. Was it? Huge. The only because Chris uses the four horsemen all the time. I want you to say it's his. Okay, Haley. I have no idea, but I just want to say rabbit. <laughs> we will leave it to the viewers as well to guess. Oh yeah, sorry, viewers. Nick saying rabbit. Ooh, I might be right. They just wanted to say rabbit. <laughs> Josh, Simon wants to know if you're drinking rubbing alcohol. No. I think he's oh, tempted to. I'm going to take that picture. I've got some isopropyl behind me. That might do. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a litter bottle of it in the kitchen. Mm. Jesus Christ. Jesus Literally, I only paid like so, six quid for it, including so post. The chat. Nick's gone rabbit. Simon, that's what I was drinking. Kev's gone, that looks like a crisp brick. <laughs> that was my thinking as well. Yeah, Tracy's gone zippy. It was, of course, Chris. Me. It was, of course. Mine was in like a blue. And <laughs> the only thing that was really annoying for me on it was the battery door would rattle. It wasn't battery rattle. It was actually the door that would rattle. You could move it side to side. And it was ugly. Yeah, it was ugly, but it did what I wanted. I mean, the stylists there have gone, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> we're not going to, we're not going classic Italian styling on this one, are we? Chris. No. Chris, how many batteries was it? Four. Right, so they've gone over... We're sticking four in, but we'll just make it look shit. Because it's fine. It's got four batteries in. Yeah. Power. Oh, and yeah, I'm sorry, it had not long... Go... Mm. It was... I had it when it had not long got released, and it was only like 60 quid. Mm. And it would go up to like 250 sorry, watts. But it's okay release it. It's only 60 quid. Yeah. Simon. <laughs> only... <laughs> Simon. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, that is Simon, only Chris would have a mod more ugly than him. Communicate <laughs> 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 with him to set up so he can just go. <coughs> oh, it's fucking ace. Yeah. I mean, Vinny has personally put in the chat in the, the bin. <laughs> bin. <laughs> <laughs> in the bin. In the bin. Hey, that's what you're waiting for. It's like come to mama. Actually, you might fill the fucking bucket though. All right, um, put it this way: How many regulated mods do you can you say up until the PWM would happily and easily fit the Titan on it? I mean, he's I got think, a point. He's got a point. I can think. I can think about three. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Chris, I'm just watching you hold that bottle. It's just making me smile the way you're holding it. Simon, <laughs> you Simon. Simon says it's too ugly for the bin. <laughs> My only concern is it'll plug the hole in the bottom of the bin. Well, what about in the incinerator, then? <laughs> there isn't one. It broke. <laughs> and have Lassimo released anything since? I don't know. I've never looked. <laughs> I mean, I remember, I, Chris, I remember when I first met you. I had a last that was like... <laughs> With regret, oh Josh. Chris, I remember when I first actually met you, and that was at that expo, and you had that, and that's the, that's the expo. That's the expo. About five minutes later, you broke Andy's wheelchair. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you had it on okay. you. And, and the and fact then... that Chris broke Andy's <laughs> wheelchair <laughs> still <laughs> makes Chris piss himself. And, and, and he broke your wheelchair. You broke his wheelchair, and you left us around it. It's like, who the fuck was that idiot? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he said I wouldn't be able to push him with the brakes on. And then yeah. I, and then I did, I, the brakes did nothing. No, they did, Chris. You bent them. <laughs> no, you just tip it a bit. If you just lift the wheelchair a wee bit up. No, all the four wheels were on the ground. And I just pushed it, and, and all I did was just no. They the bolt on, and all it did because he didn't tighten the bolts down tight enough. They just shifted out the way. 
to be fair, I have seen someone move their wheelchair with all brakes on. Yeah, I have as well. Um, yeah. And they found a way to move it. You right. Go, but you had to watch because it was just so intriguing. There's, there's only one thing I take from this is that wheelchairs need better brakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll Generally, they do. Are not made for stubborn old people. That's what it is. We'll, we'll and Chris, disc brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they need some now that have disc brakes. Yeah. Oh God! Yeah, I remember trying to bloody. Really right, I remember where, trying to sort of set out on a push bike. Oh, they're horrible. Where are we putting this brick? Where are we putting this brick? I've got a feeling I know exactly where it's going. I even knew it yesterday. Let's have a quick vote, then, uh, Josh. Ben. Yeah. Lloyd? Yeah, I'm just going to go on cool. Too kind. Hayley? <laughs> I would have gone shit bucket, but I'm thinking uh, pit of hell. Because <laughs> 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 too good for it. In the bin. <laughs> cool. Fucking <laughs> cool! You joker! <laughs> just Wait, to piss I you off. I was actually expecting all one. of you to say shit bucket. <laughs> but... Since Lloydie said cool, I thought I'd go cool as well, just to get it to cool. No, I said uncool. <laughs> no, because so I said cool. cool. That's the house. It's shit bucket. Yeah, shit bucket. In the bin. In the bin. <laughs> In the right. bin. Anyway, so we'll do the next mod. The next mod is, and this, this, I'm really surprised at this, but, you know, the next mod is a Tug Life DNA 250C. And there's not, we're not, there's not many panel members left now, so. Mm. Now, I know. That, <laughs> the person that owned this one, the one they had, I couldn't find a picture where I could actually, that wasn't bigger than a postage stamp. And unfortunately, it isn't in there, but it is the better looking one, personally. Yeah, it's a purple one. Yeah. I wasn't saying the colours. I have a question. By any chance, is it the one that's just been put in chat? <laughs> no, no, that no, won't be the one that's been put in chat. No, the one I put, the one I put in chat is a different one. Who on the panel likes a good tug? <laughs> 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 to be honest, they they could have actually come up with a better name than Tug Life. Come on, who do we think it was? Eh, I'll go with Rabbit. Interesting choice. Mm. Hey, yeah, a lot of people are saying rabbit. So who have we got to choose from? Because obviously you are rabbit, Paul, and then you two. And then Paul and me. I, I know who it was because I bought it off him. I don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> I think no, not bought. I think I traded. Oh it, God, I remember that saying, Phantom Wanker. <laughs> with yeah. Andy's uh, setups, just yeah. watching. Du, 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 du. I spoke to Andy earlier in the week. Oh, you don't really, he never reads my messages. He, I regularly ask if he's all right and say hello. Yeah, no, no, no. He's, uh, yeah, but yeah, it's a uh, Taku's mod. Yep. It was Paul's mod. Yep. Yeah. And it's beautiful. I yes. had it and, and passed it on to a friend locally. And it's, it's still. It's a cool mod. I like yes. it. Biggest issue. You couldn't really run low builds. It was an internal lipo, but the lipo was tiny. Absolutely tiny, and you'd kill it really quickly running anything near a 0 0.10 build. <laughs> the tug life scrotum, they missed the trick of that one. <laughs> Every time. Oh. Are we going to have a quick rapid fire vote? Yeah, Is that what we're going to go for? Rapid yeah. fire vote. Rapid fire vote. Chris? Sub. Ooh, Hayley? Cool. Lloyd? Cool. Joshua? Cool. Don't ever call me Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joshua. <laughs> I just watched Josh's face and I was like, what the well, hell? My vote is immaterial because it's going cool anyway, but I was going to say uncle. Ooh. Slightly controversial, and I've had one. So guys. It was the battery issue for me. It was just, I, I couldn't use it. I literally flattered the battery in about an hour. Yeah, but uh, for the no, no mod is mini proof. 
No, yeah. it was it's still it was vinyl proof. It's still alive. I sold it to a friend. No, but you can cock up where it's batteries or something. It'll go wrong. Vinny, you can't run a stream without cocking it up. I think packed up. Yeah, that was the first time I'd done it. You wanker. <laughs> I don't think I did a bad <laughs> job once it went out last week. What? Right. So it goes cool. Yeah. Cool. We'll move on to mod number six. Three of us left. Oh, God. Uh, four of us left. Oh, yes, there's four. Oh, mod, four. Sorry, brother. It's mod number six of nine, so it's four left. Uh, so the next yeah, one is, is... Oh, I've got to take that picture down. Anyway. Take the tug light down first, yeah. Yeah, get the, next, the wank down. The next mod is <coughs> an Efro Cold Steel. I know who that one is as well. <laughs> <laughs> and now these, yeah. these, these, are, these are pretty cheap little mods. You pick them up for about 25 quid now. Really? And they're pretty cool looking, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I like the look of those. Who's Efro. left again? Rabbit Got Cold Steel. Rabbit, a, Josh, and, and then you two. two. And, and... Well, I know I don't own one, and by the sounds of it, Haley doesn't own one. No, I don't own one. one. So I'm going to say Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good detective way of life. Yeah. I want to say Josh, because I haven't said Josh yet. No, it's not it's actually end, quite but... a Josh mod now. That's, that's what I was thinking. Mm. Not, not high end enough for him. If I'm expecting Josh's <laughs> first one to be a mech, I'm going to go Josh. <laughs> I need to. The chat want to vote. The chat is voting. Tracy's saying rabbit. Vinny's done a bunker. Just oh, like to say had more views when you were off air than when you was on Vinny. Says so something. Nick, Sorry. for those that were actually on the physical show, oh. mate. I Sorry, will, I, I did think about that, Nick, and I was, I'd already put them up, so I do apologise, buddy. Yeah. We'll do you next week. Simon saying, Rabbit. It was, of course... Rabbit. Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Rabbit. Yeah. Rabbit loved this mod. Rabbit pretty much made the Afro Cold still every time he was on the show. Yeah. I had to message him last night. To double check, it was cold steel and not cult steel because it sounded like he said cult. Yeah, that's I was American. like, yeah. I was like, hmm. No, they're, they're, they're pretty nice little mods. They're, they're inexpensive. They're pretty tough. Pretty cool looking, to be honest. They actually hit pretty well. He always used to run a, uh, always just run a Turk RDA on it, didn't he? Yeah. I think he ran the Kennedy on it a couple of times as well. Love that Turk RDA, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, rabbit. We'll, we'll, we'll wait till Vinny gets back, whatever that may be. Not rabbit, Vinny. Did I just call Vinny rabbit? Fucking hell, yeah. Seriously, yeah. <laughs> you did. Rabbit. We are sorry for Josh's behaviour. He did not mean to insult you. I have to say now. I know that if it's not my mod, if it's not Vaporoni mod, I know it's Josh's. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the next three should be pretty easy, people. <laughs> yes. The, well, yeah. mine's probably a pod, so yes. If it's a pod, it's me. The, the, the other thing you've got to remember, these are in order of appearance. So, like, we had, like the, the first four original members were Chris, Vinny, Andy, and Zippy. And then Rabbit and Paul joined. Then you were the last one! Yeah, I know, and I run all this shit now. <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm the originals. <laughs> Yeah, over the years, yeah. I think, Josh, of, of you've been here just hat. better, yeah. Yeah, of the people that have actually got a hat. I've got a hat. I wear my hat all the time. I, I don't, because it doesn't fit on my head right. Mine does. <laughs> I used to work every other weekend, so I could only see you every other weekend. With the old logo. So we've deciphered it was Rabbit, of course, Vinny. Really. Yep. <laughs> uh, Sorry about that. Efro Cold still. Well, well, Nick, I don't remember you being on. Has he been on? Yeah. No? Oh, sorry. Yeah, he has been on. Yeah. We do apologise, Nick. We do apologise. Yeah, sorry. Um, anyway, so, where are we, where are we put in this Afro Cold still? I think it's a pretty cool mod, to be honest. I'm going to go cool. Yeah, cool for me. Cool. 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 
Cool. <laughs> he, how do you say, Josh? Epro. It's Efro. Oh, see, I always just used to say E H Pro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be E H Pro. Yeah, yeah. Don't what we got know. next? Oh, well, I'm gathering mine's going to be a plug because well, Square well, was all on pods on the first show. There's only three left, and they're going to be pretty easy to guess. Yeah, <laughs> you're just going to guess them straight away. So the next, so the next mod is it's a uh, it's a it's an immortal mod script grenade. Oh, I wonder who could that be. <laughs> Did you have to grip nade, Josh? Yeah, I, I had a grip nade myself, and I even I even auctioned I even auction one off on the gave one away on the show didn't i you did you did his Basically. very first show he was on the grip nade and, and tracy, literally and, and tracy <laughs> tracy won that grip nade yeah she won the american one didn't she no she won that it was a brass one i had i had a brass one which i solid brass one which i lovely kindly gave away i think i still want one or or, or auctioned maybe i auctioned it i think i auctioned it off I can't remember what we did, but yeah, Tracy won it. And it was quite a low serial number, if I remember rightly. Yes, it was. It was on the auction for um, Angel Hearts and Wings. Mm. And I had, and, I, and then I kept a black one. Briefly. <laughs> or did you end up with it? It's a cool mod. I mean, it's one of those mods that's a bit like... It was quite controversial when it was released yeah. because of the look. Yeah. That's why I like it. I like the look of it. It's yeah, I like the I mean, concept behind it. It's heavy. They are solid brass. They are thick. Apparently, it was number yeah. 58. And apparently, yeah. to Nick, it was the Christmas giveaway. Ooh. Yeah, it was. I think, I think it was a giveaway. Yeah, it was a, the Christmas one he did for Josh. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm nice like that. <laughs> yeah, they was really solid brass. Uh, they hit really well as well, didn't they? And they had some weight to them as well. Yeah, it was solid because it was really thick. Yeah, with so I'm on about. I've always loved the black one and the American flag one with the matching RDA. Yeah, the American flag ones were expensive. Mm. Yeah. Really expensive. Um, any 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 of the American flag and mortar stuff is expensive because they're hard to paint. Uh, so hard to paint. <laughs> so I remember we was all drooling over them at the Expo. On was that the... an expo? Yes. The grip made was an expo. Yes. Oh, I, di- I didn't buy mine at an expo. I bought mine. No, you had yours with you. Yeah. I had mine from Team at the time. Must be where I got mine from then. Ariel must have gave me it at the expo. I just can't remember it. Cool, yes, cool he mod. did. Cool mod. Still doesn't hit as hard as a siege. Siege is still the one. It's still the one I run to. Do we? The one that I belong to. If you're alternate friends, so hear that, Josh. They'd rip you a new one. They're all at download, mate. So. <laughs> it's still the one I kiss goodnight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Right, quick fire vote on the grip nade from Immortal Mods. Lloyd. So. Ooh, Hayley. Cool. Oh, Chris. You won't need to answer. Just do it. Sub zero. Josh? Oh, cool. And Ooh. I'm also going to go cool. Ooh. Because I they think they've made cool. better mods. Yes. That's yes. like three sub zeros, one shit bucket, and three calls. Proper Fine, mixed. Mine will be on call. <laughs> it might be shit bucket, depending on which part it is. Let me shit bucket. I was like, hang on, I have a hell of a let's, let, let, let's see if you can guess this one, people. Crony. <laughs> 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 it's the, uh, yeah, it's the, is it the K Vapors Vaporoni edition? <gasps> I wonder who that one is. <laughs> yeah, he's on got it show. in his hand, Danny. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we were on it earlier. Yeah. That's why he's brought it on this week, I bet you. <laughs> no, no. That photo. Yeah, he took that photo about 12 o'clock last night. <laughs> <laughs> Can I send it you tomorrow at some point, before just before the show or something? I'm like, well, I, no, no, I said early in the morning. I, 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 I just jumped into bed and then I sent you a message. I know which one I've got. Amazing. 
So are you telling me that picture of that mod was taken on your bed? No. Late at night? No. no. Was that the only action you yeah, put? It was, it was taken here. I made um, a space for it and took it here. But it looks like it's on some, on some cushions. <laughs> a sofa of some kind. Right. Let's talk about the <coughs> mod rather these. than the picturing. Yeah, let's talk about the mod. <laughs> Lloyd, tell us about that mod because you are the only one of us that own one. Lovely it's mod. got that rather strange side fire action yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, so it's it's a brass tube um, yep. with a housing with the the butter fire, and it just makes connection that way. Simple. Evening, Sean. Okay. Uh, Evening, Sean, brother. Hope you're doing all right. Hey, up, mate. Sorry. Good mod. The um, button gets a bit, a bit hot sometimes. Clean it. <laughs> no, I was yeah. about to say that. <laughs> take, take, take the uh, polish off it, Lloyd. <laughs> no, no, I, don't, I take the polish off. <laughs> Chris has got some alcohol if you need it. I remember when the grip nade came out and everyone was like, gets hot button, gets hot button. Clean it. Fucking clean yeah. it. Yeah. Clean it. Clean the contact. <laughs> like, fucking don't get hot burn. Same with the XL. Clean it. Clean it. Clean yeah. it. Don't get hot burn. Simple as. It, it gets... Get started easy though, with it yeah. obviously being pretty a two part tube. Start, yeah, start, it's like a sleeve yeah. tube, isn't it? Doesn't yeah. take much to get in there, does it? And then you've got nah. some oil, some liquid, something you're gonna get. Yeah, there. if you over drip, um, your liquid will get into it easy enough, and that. But no, it's a hard hit mod. It's really good. Yeah, I use it quite often. Yeah, you've had it on quite a few shows. Yeah. Um, I actually quite like the design. Other than the issue of all the crud getting in there, yeah, which the is crud get, the crud getting in is a bit of an issue. There's probably uh, the downside there, but no, it's a good bother once you get past that. What was well, the price point, pri- price point, Lloyd? Can you remember? Um, I a blowjob the, and a cup of the bulls, what are it? I think they're about 89. Uh, uh, um, uh, 89. Yeah, eighty or ninety quid. I, That's I not bad. That is actually really cheap. That, that makes a big uh, difference to my rating. I, I got it for free because it's a team mod, so I, I need to pass it back. But I'll leave the team. Was what that team it? price then, or was that like rep to retail? Uh, retail price is eighty or ninety quid. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I know the ones that are expensive. I, I thought there was sub hundred. Yeah. Um, I thought they'd be around the same price as the Atocha. No. You think about it, it's a very simpler design and easier to make than the Atochi. The Atochi's got yeah, quite a few little parts to it. You, you can't you can't really customize it apart from this button area, which is I think the what happened with Bogan's one as well. You know, he got it custom painted, but the only thing that he was able to get custom was on the button. Hmm. So, so it's easier to sort of make more yeah. of them. They make it to a specific design, doesn't stray from that apart from this one a little bit, which which makes yeah, perfect yeah. sense. Yeah, it, yeah. Help, it, helps no, and, cost, it helps keep the cost down, so why not? Yeah, it's laser etched as well, so it's sub, it's sub 100 pounds. Yeah, can't go yeah. wrong, really. No. Okay, quick fire vote for me. I'm gonna put it as sub zero because I actually like it, uh, not touched it, but I like it. Yeah, sub. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> no, nah, just let's just do this. Fucking hell, man. Josh? I'm going to go cool. Chris? I'm going to go the same cool. Hales? Cool. It goes cool. Uh, now, no, I cool. was going to do his very, very first mod, but that was the swordfish, and we already did that, and that went in the uh, ship. Was that the swordfish? I thought it was this one for some reason. No. So we're gonna... everybody was talking about it in we're the gonna... comments when we first came on. We're gonna do nah, last, but we're gonna do last but not least. Me. <laughs> <laughs> she oh. says very excitedly. <laughs> Nick, we didn't oh. forget you. It's Chris's fault, Nick, because he's the one who organised this. So blame Nick. Blame Chris. It is <laughs> the vape fly optima. <laughs> <laughs> and that was actually your very first mod you used. And the exact yeah. same finish. The Vape Fly Optima pod mod. I literally thought you asked for photos from everyone else but me, and I sent you a picture of this like three weeks ago. Yeah, I delete them. 
each week. Yeah, you know, I ain't got story enough. So that. <laughs> <laughs> so we all know uh, it is. We'll put it you know, you up. could probably it's get cool. a full cool wall section or, or three out of all the mods and it stuff. Like you know, I don't like making it. Board, it doesn't make it. Not a fan. <laughs> we need the plug alert banner. Plug alert banner. Plug uh, alert banner. <laughs> It's not me for once. Uh, and you, you've, only, you've only got to see the uh, LXV lounge. Me, know that. Every week, I think I've had a vape fly in my hand. It's been a different one. Kev says room bloody 101. <laughs> <laughs> Simon says sub zero, right. that you won't hit me. <laughs> that is really good. You can also, you've got your build above that has got the extra um, prong in the legs. So it actually does give more flavour and heat. So I actually think it's really good. And I'm surprised. And Vin is vaping on a oh. disposable like it's a cigarette. <laughs> is the vape flies version of... And it's pink. He likes to put some pink and stiff in his mouth and suck on it. This is not pink and stiff, sorry. No, Vin is his. That would have been flaccid. Well, what could we expect more from me than for him to be sucking us with pink and stick? I like pink. <laughs> <coughs> I need a pink mod. Hmm. I have a pink mod. Actually, it's pink and blue, but, you know. And it's smock. Ah, That's pink. perfect for him, then. Ooh. What about the, what about the, what about the cock mod, then? <laughs> you know me, Josh. I'd, I'd review it. <laughs> oh, you want about that one that was made out of a purple dildo? <gasps> no, 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 no. Uh, no. no. I, I think, I think right. me and Vinny are the only people that know what the cock mod is. Yeah. Like, we're not the only people, but... Right, so what we've opened on? A, a, a vape fry... Oh, fucking hell. It's a vape fry Optima pot. Easy I, for you to say. I do have a pink <laughs> mod. You are correct, Nick. I do have a pink mod. Yes, Tiffany, with the Tiffany blue. I have to say, it's a cracking vape. The battery life's really good. The flavour's really good. Oh, yes, I forgot. The coils have been fucking amazing. What, the stock coils? The stock, and you have your... Um, I know there's a revealable section. But... With the mesh coil, but the stock's the mesh coils. That's been my biggest issue with Oxford, which my reviews are coming soon for Oxford. Uh, the stock coils, the shit. No, these are mesh. They're really good. They laugh. Considering I have like coffee vapes, things, and then um, caramels that burn through coils. I'm trying to think what vape fly, fly products I've got. I've got the Brunhild, haven't I? The, uh... <gasps> is that the <gasps> one with like, that metal wicky? Yeah. Oh, that is purdy. The SBS is so purdy. Right, so we are voting on the vape fly pod that I can't remember the name of again. Yeah, it even says it on the frigging mod. You can't, can't see, see that. that. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is Vinny. The guy has thrown his phone here. Just close up. You see the look at his phone? <laughs> <laughs> He's practically eating the damn thing. <laughs> I am Mr. Magoo. Well, it's watching porn. No one will know because it's that close to his face. It's not no, like but they'll hear it. I'm going to start. And because Hayley loves it and I'm not usual, I'm going to get cool. Lloyd? Very good, cool as well. Chris? Cool. <laughs> Uncool, I'll bet you. <laughs> Just bid the crawl one. Go on. In the bin. <laughs> Why? I'm going to challenge you, Vinny. Why? Because there's nothing wrong with that mod at all. Because, because Vapefly won't send me one. <laughs> he says he's not Mr. Free <laughs> Shit. <laughs> It's for re review purposes, Christopher. As, as Simon said, it's not a pod. It's, a, it's an all-in-one. Or is it a plug-and-play? Who the fuck? Come on, Vinny, you cannot put in the bin for this. No way. I've not touched it. Well, that's not my fault, is it? There's things called shops, Vinny. What? There's things called <laughs> Robert Johnson. Do you know says, you can get this for twenty five quid on eSig One? Your favourite shop. Shh, we don't name that brand. <laughs> <laughs> but you cannot put it in the bin. It's like, it's like the, not had it for review. Like the, like they the already v, have. Like the V word in in Harry Potter. You don't. You don't. You don't name that. 
not in Harry Potter. Voldemort, you dip it, you dipshit. <laughs> For fuck's sake. You've not touched. You're going to say you're going in the bin. Yeah, Sean, 25 quid to Vinny is far too much. Oh, well, yeah, he's used to free, but you know. <laughs> right, he's voted it in the bin. That's his vote. He can choose yeah. to say what he wants. Everyone's got. Yeah. Oh, stop, I'm bullying. Cool. stop bullying me! Don't bully me! I'll bully you! Stop bullying me! The biggest guy on the panel is getting bullied by the smallest person on the on the panel. Leave, I'm a victim. Leave Brittany alone. I mean, Vinny alone. <laughs> <laughs> The price range obviously is middle of the road, so it isn't sub zero. But if it was in the middle of the road, Vinny had run it over. No, he wouldn't. Oh, I'll, pick it, I'll, I'll pick it up and review it then, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you just wipe it on your top. In yeah, the bin. Right but it went cool because it got oh, four cool votes. It doesn't votes. matter. It, it, it doesn't, your vote means nothing. So that's the cool one for this week. It was an, a lovely. Little gesture for the cool wall. I, I oh, like Chris. That, that was a very good yes, idea. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. I've now used all my good ideas up for the next God knows how many years. <laughs> that's the, that is the first one you've had, Chris, if we're honest. Hence what I said for the next couple of years. <laughs> well, right, can we put Chris in the bin? Yeah. I'm already in there. In room 101. Actually, no, he, I'm in room 101. He did go into room 101. <laughs> he did. And yet he's still come out and he's fucking on the show every week since. No, he just does it from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is room 101. <laughs> yeah, tipped him. <laughs> oh, I like it. And yeah, I only put that in the bin just to wind her up because I know she can't hear me now. It, worked quite, well. can. it worked quite well. Simon done well. Mm. It worked very well. <laughs> so, oh. Um. Shall we do? Well, we've got a f- we've got a few sections we can do. We can do a room one hundred and one. Anybody got anything for ro- anybody got any room one hundred and one matters this evening? Shall we put Haley's mod in there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till she comes back. We'll wait till she gets back. Yeah. yeah. Someone said, yeah, "Everyone, <laughs> someone said agree it. and vote for it." So someone said, someone said in the bin, and Sean said, "I'll get the lid." <laughs> <laughs> Love it, Sean. Yeah, I know I will sign it. I don't care. It's so she'll much fun. Tra- she'll have to travel to come and get us. They only live down the road from me, mate. Yeah, yeah, they don't live down the road from me, so I'm good. <laughs> Has yeah. anyone seen the new rap RDA? Nope. No, no, but I'm gonna look at it right okay, now. I can still hear you, even though I'm not in the room. <laughs> Just to let you know. Bollocks. I also have a husband that's very loyal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only three have been scared. Right, so I've just looked at a picture and of it was. And just by the looks alone, I absolutely hate it. Really? Yeah. Wait, if I just got to do three slashes on it. It looks like some. What's it called again? Rap like, 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 without the W. Looks like Wolverine's had a go at it. <laughs> it's meant to be a flavor banger. Well, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> Sorry, 20, 24 miles. It's fucking Vandy, mate. It's Vandy. Yeah. It'll be gosh. What are we looking well, at? I, I get paid in eight days' time. I will pick one up and then I will tell you my thoughts on it. You have to do a review, Lloyd. Ah, because they're review now. Yes. The last, the last decent product <laughs> that Vandy Vape made was the, was the Bonza. For me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that may be the only decent idea they've made. Oh, it do looks do the... cheap. That is cheap. It's like it is cheap. I'll say, it's my boy Vandy Vape. He's going to be cheap. Twenty two. That's a very good point. I, I think it's going to be very good. The, the the small diameter, um, it, it looks like it's got a condensed chamber. It is going to be very good. If you if you want if you want a good small RDA, I've got one here for you. <laughs> 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 You've got a small one there for you, 
Lloyd. <laughs> it's only 20, Lloyd, it's 24, it's not that small. Ah, 20, 24 is small to like nowadays standard. Everyone's wanting 25 or higher. Yeah, no, Nick. You, mm. you, Nick you are great, Lloyd. Nick, you are correct. The Bonza mech was absolutely atrocious. The Bonza RDA, which came first, was actually very good. The first Bonza RDA. I much preferred it. Like, so I remember at the time we had the Bonza come out and the drop came out at the same time. Apparently, Craig says he's hard to hear everyone. Turn your volume up, Craig. <laughs> You're so helpful, Vinny. Thank you. Sorry, Craig. We've got issues. We've always got issues. Turn it off well. and on again. <laughs> um, Say, they didn't bad the Vape <laughs> as well. The Pulse was um, a good product for Vandivate. Not designed by Vandivate, though. Ah, true. He was just made by and, and, and neither was the Bonza, so you know, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, I reckon the Bonza just had such a massive juice well, so the Bogan could just drink beer out of it. It was just... <laughs> uh, I still got mine somewhere. My original one, I ain't got a clue where, like. I saw, I, I sold my last two to Chris. You did? No, you gave them. I gave them to you, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Team preach it. <laughs> Do you know what the best thing is? Hey, I've, hardly ever, I've hardly used them. A lot of us. Nothing I've actually wrong. hardly used them since Nothing actually having them. Bonza. A Banza. 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 I don't fucking know. Anyway. Does anyone, has anyone got any Room 101 issues? <laughs> 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 yeah, there was something about a vape fly optima. Vinny, Vinny, if you can we put um, a certain vaping Vinny in room 101? You can, you can nominate anything you want for room Is the room in there? Probably not. <laughs> not, with, not, with, not with Chris in there. Jesus, don't lock me up with him, please. Right, room, room 101 is oh, like a TARDIS. Yeah. Room, room 101 is like, tar- it's like a TARDIS. It's bigger on the inside, trust me. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Right. Are we do has anyone anyone got any room one on one issues? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Simon's put <laughs> Simon's put one in the chat. <laughs> Which is, yes, uh, wholeheartedly agree that's... there, Si. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the new ones have been pretty good, but yeah, the old ones are shit. <laughs> we yeah, we're bagging well, on doing his favourite brand. Fuck it. Here. We're, we're going to do a room 101. Put in there what you want. <laughs> it's all about Vinny. I need a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not your friend, you fucking puppet. Just because, just because I like that intro music, that's all. It is called music, that's awesome. I don't know, I can't hear it. <laughs> right, room 101, crack on, ladies and gents. I'm You're not putting it. me in 101. I'm going I'm, I'm to sit All back, right. relax, and enjoy. <laughs> well, then, give me your arguments for putting me in 101. You're my big snowflake. <laughs> I self confess that, Chris. Next cut <laughs> next point. It's still that it's still a reason. I'm a sensitive modern day man, Chris. I can't help it. Plus you got a bitch itch. I haven't, because I haven't done it. Right. Yes, yes, seeing as the uh, T V P went in there, Simon. Yes. Well, then, yeah. See who comes out. Kev, Kev is saying the uh, the sun box, the sun box for room 101. It's a bit controversial, Kev. It was uh, quite well received, wasn't it? You look like you're smoking a cigar, Josh. Well, maybe I am, bitch. <laughs> I can't smoke a cigar in years. I think the last time oh, I smoked 17. a cigar was my wedding day. It could well be for me as well, actually. And that was 15 years ago, 16 years ago. I think I'd be about 18. I used to enjoy it. <laughs> I've never smoked a cigar. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't start now. 
vaping. Come on, anyone, something serious for 101? I've got nothing. I've got nothing. <laughs> I have an empty shell. How about bolts in tyres? That was not vaping related, Chris. You, you did say anything. They did say anything. Three goddamn days to change a goddamn tyre. Why? It's Kia. Tip then. No, it's just <laughs> Kia. They don't. They'll do it. They'll repair your car, but they don't change tyres. Really? Really. Okay. Simon Burr says Icos for Room 101. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Him and Icos. Oh, I agree. I agree. I know I do. He's yes. still smoking. There is no it's... health benefits yeah. at no. all. The fact that they... someone yeah. actually lit one of the filters up and smoked it like a cigarette at Expo, then yes, it's still smoking. Yeah, and they got told by the High Court they cannot say it's healthier than smoking. No. Because it's not because you're still smoking. It's just mm-hmm. a lower burn. Yes, Simon, 101. Completely. Yeah. To be I'll... fair, that should have already been there. That should have been there as soon as ICOS came up. Oh, the who? The who? 101. The is who? that Ooh. the World Health Organization or is that... <laughs> the band. The band. If you're not putting the who, the band in there at all. <laughs> yes, Philip Morris. Yeah, he could go in there with TVP. Most definitely. Two big cunts together. C bomb. I have to say, Facebook at the moment for banning people over no frigging reason. Or flagging up posts that are two years old. Yeah. Follow the rules, people. <laughs> that was following the bloody rules. My group's had zero strikes, nothing. This is a personal war. Can't fight, Vinny. Yeah, nothing. If I do it, it'll be your fault. Why? (laughs) Just will. You and your spamming of uh, promotional material. I thought all promotional material. (coughs) Here it is. There's nothing to do with vaping. Here it is. Oh, what? Thanks, Kev. Not, not, not the band, good, because I love the Who. World Health Organization. Well, they're powerless anyway, Kev, so they might as well be in 101 because they do actually have zero power. And if they were any good, they would have actually just fucking gone to China and gone, what the fuck are you playing at? But oh. that, that's why they have no power. Oh. Tracy's just dropped a bit of a bomb. <laughs> Clezo and all of his patterns. Yeah, well, that's, that's yep. a no-brainer. I think that was already in there. I don't post in your group, so sorry. Anyway, no. I'm going to move this on. We're going to do a questions from the chat, and then we're going to say good night. I think. Yep. Goodnight. So let's do questions from the chat. Fuck's sake, really. That's the love of the time. What, me? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. Chris. <laughs> Don't look at me. That was definitely Vinny. Right, so guys, question from the chat. Fire your questions. I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll take personal questions. I don't care. I'll answer anything. June the 8th. June, June, June the 8th, Hayley. What? Oh. Oh, I post, oh, wow. I post on someone that you actually like. I'm so sorry. I have a question. Oh, Lord. Was know? Vinny such a bitch? No, I already know that one. Uh, uh, for the original Alex Vade, so that's obviously Vinny, Josh and Chris. How do you feel Alex V has changed through the last two years? Because obviously you guys are celebrating two years. We're celebrating like a few months since we've been here. Oh, I get more shit than ever. I'm not sat on my sofa using my phone or a tablet. I I think as a whole, we have grown and moved forward and slightly matured. 
maybe slightly less controversial. Um, other people don't seem to think we are. Um, but I think our general quality has improved as Lloyd does a massive yawn. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> are we really boring? That boring? No, no, I understand. I, um, I think I'm using abuse for my skill set. I have a very specific skill set. I was just about to pay you a very nice compliment, John, until you said that. <laughs> but I, I was he's just very, say, he's very you, specific you, skill set. All you he's need turning to know is alcohol that, into Yuri. All, all you need to know is that I will find you. <laughs> I'll probably find you first, but okay. And I will vape <laughs> near you. I will vape in your general direction. <laughs> That's me, because obviously me and Lloyd, we're only newbies. We've only been here a few months <laughs> You guys have been through more of a journey than we have. Can I just say, we actually asked some serious questions in the chat. Okay, right. Well, let's, let's, ask, let's, let's look at these serious questions in the chat. So, no, Hayley, great, great question. No, I feel like we've changed quite a lot. Yeah. Um, I, there, there's there's some panel members I would love to have back on the show that, that are definitely missing, that definitely are LXV. And to be honest with you, I would I'd really love to do a show with all nine of us at some point because I think it'd be yes. fucking awesome. Yeah. I actually thought uh, that about yeah. tonight. You know, I would love to do a show with all nine of us. And to be honest with you, they should all be here tonight. I know I know a few of those guys have got their own personal shit going on and, and this mm. is just something we do for fun. And I get it, when, when it doesn't become fun or something else becomes more serious, then it's it's an easy thing just to go, you know. And we will never blame anyone for stepping away we do it because we want to do it. That's the whole reason we do it week in, week out, you know, we, yep. and you know, we, it's not like we've got thousands of people watching us, we, we, but we do it because we like to do it. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's just one of those things, but yeah, there's a few people on, on the show that, that, that I wish were still on the show. Um, and, and I love every single member of LXV yeah. in their own way. You know, there's there's been issues. There's been some. There's been some odd times. There's been some, some, definitely some uh, some weird times with with us lot. But especially the, we may. At the end of the day, we are just a group of mates. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I love hanging out with my mates. Yeah. I've nothing my... but love for uh, everyone that's been on and he's on. Yeah, we'll definitely need to do one with all of us on. <laughs> yeah. Including, yeah. Nick, including Nick. Including Nick. All ten yeah. of us. I have all to say, you've all been welcoming. Because I weren't sure if I would fit, and you've all welcomed me. Probably Chris more than he needed. <laughs> but Sorry, yeah, no, no. Oh, you I'm just know right. exactly when I when someone says something, and I've instantly turned it rude. You click on. We click straight away. Yeah, we realised that we had the same um, filthy minds. It, 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 yeah, <laughs> and, and, and I mean, for me, the highlight of it was obviously the expo. That expo show we did was yeah. just incredible, and we. And we are going to do another one, I promise. I do yeah, promise. September, do. October, it will happen. I we... do promise. I do promise. Um, I have people we confirmed. Do so Maybe do a special it. reunion for the Xbox. Yeah, that would be a quite good show. Yeah. But the problem is, it's just like the other guys that aren't on the show right now have their own issues. They have their own problems. And nailing all 10 of us down at once is going to be difficult, I think. I know, I know. For at least five of us, that's no issue. Um, I know, I know. Rabbit, at least six of us. Sorry, that's no issue. I know Rabbit would be down for it as long as we can get him at a good time. Obviously, he's in the states, so he's a very yeah. different time zone than us. Um, I know the well, other cough, guy. Cough, I know the Nick, other guy. I know, I know the other guys have some other shit going down. So and have been for a well, while. So I, I've spoken to Andy this week, and yeah. Andy is adamant he will be back. Yes. Um, he's obviously got stuff going on, and me and Josh need to talk about one of the other ex panel members at some point in the near future as well. But yes, 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 definitely all of I us mean, on one I, show. I love all of you like brothers and sisters, so I'm glad to have met you all. And this is what vaping's done for me. Absolutely, you know I mean? we, could, we could make like a that like 12 and try to get Rich and Johnny as well. Yeah, because Rich and Johnny have been big parts of the show over time. So, you know, that'd, yeah. be, that'd be amazing. I, I, we're going to struggle to fit us all on the fucking screen. <laughs> <laughs> Just made but, my bit a bit smaller, Josh. But but we could definitely do it. You know, we can work something out, even if we have to go, even if we have to move to a, something else to do it. I'll do it. It's no problem. Yeah. Um, 
Anyway, let's let's look let's look at these. I'm going to go just back and go through some of the questions. So, uh, Roberts asked, "Have we heard anything about the expo coming back?" <laughs> Rumor is May next year. Yeah, I mean, I I honestly don't think it'll be October this year. One, I don't no, think they've got enough be. time. No, they haven't got enough time to plan it. Um, if they, if they were going to do it, it would already be booked. Because they'd already have to pay yeah. for the venue. And it, it takes six and... months to arrange. They, the, the tickets would be on sale by now. Um, I could see a smaller expo happening and maybe at an outdoor event, but I can't see the big one at the NEC happening this year just from what I've been hearing from the marketing guy. I know they're gearing up for May because they couldn't get insurance for October as well. Yeah, well, so so you were looking May and I hope to see all of you there in May. Yeah, <laughs> every uh, it's a It's a bit of a journey for Lloyd, but I hope Lloyd makes it down. I'll try my best. It'd be nice to actually meet all because obviously I've, I've met Vinny, but I haven't met all of you guys in person. Oh, Jesus. Maybe I'm not trying to. I know a couple of the guys won't, like, obviously when I come up, I come up for the whole weekend. So yeah. I, I travel up on the Friday morning and they're Friday and I leave generally Sunday night or Monday morning. So I'm there for the whole weekend and I've had some amazing times. Like the people I've met, um, just so many people that i consider close friends so um but yeah the expo yeah i mean it's amazing if you've never been to one make the effort because it's something else yeah. it really is. definitely very tiring but it's worth it mm. it is, it is. Kev, spe- kev we normally see a lot of the big american names over immortal generally come over av generally come over um, Purge is generally on the Supreme Vapor yeah, store. Uh, not Supreme, yeah, but yeah, um, uh, yeah. They Cleezo never comes over, uh, but Ariel's always over for Immortal. You've got uh, Ron Peoples Jr. It's worth just go- it's worth yeah. going to meet Ron Peoples Jr. alone. Yeah, the, yeah. The, guy, <laughs> the, the, the guy's a legend. Uh, Pat Pat from Half Moon's over. It's like go and spend some time with Pat. He's fucking and and you get and you generally and I think if we have another one, we'll have all the big American reviewers over, and the, we'll have. We'll have Grim. We'll have all of those guys over because they want to make the effort to come. Bogan's usually there. You know, it's just little bits like that. Even though the, the first time I went Bogan at Expo, I was really disappointed. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, but it's it's one of those. Um, but yeah, it's worth going. Worth going just for that. Uh, what else we got? Uh... Uh, Simon's asked about uh, Vinny's dungarees. Well, I was go- I was going more to Simon's question, which is free shit hunters who give promoters. Oh, was that, was that a Room 101? That was a Room 101. I missed it. Sorry. But yeah, again, it's something to talk about because there is people that they go after samples or being sent things by people, but they're not actually wanting to promote or to help or to give their opinions. They just want it for free. Yeah, I mean, like... It in... will never go away. No. See, I that... remember the first time I went, the amount of people getting... Just grabbing as much free juice as I could. I was like, why? And then for weeks on end, people selling it on afterwards. Yeah. And you I, knew it was free. I yeah. hate that. When they do the whole stage thing and there's people like they're just throwing shit out. And it is shit. It's generally just utter tripe bollocks. It's cheap juice. It's like mm. cheap little art. And they're going mental for it. And like people fighting each other for it. It's like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. Like, and then, and then like you said, literally, like in the. You might not see it so much anymore because obviously you, the BST groups in on Facebook are, the, there's there's a it's couple gone. that managed to sneak under the radar, but they used to just be full of expo shit. It's like you fucking cheeky cunts. C mm. bomb. I used to call them out. I did. Yeah, I did as well. But yeah, Simon then um, says, does really buy his dungarees from the same shop as Kiki D? <laughs> I very much doubt it. <laughs> I can't see her shopping where I shop. It's a uh, very specialist site. Uh, it Kev, definitely isn't Primark. Kev says best flavor, oh, best flavor liquid you have vaped one at a time and why? Ooh, of all time. Mm. Oh, Ooh, that one's a really difficult one. I think mine will surprise people because it was a bottle shot. It's easy for me. Oh, yeah, but then I've just thought of what Josh is going to say as well. It's easy for me. Sad Boy Butter Cookie. Yeah. Bar none. 
It's very hard. I, I, I used to absolutely love Dripax LMP. Lemon rank Ooh, pie. Yes. I used to vape it by the litre. And I, I'm not kidding. I vaped a fucking shit ton of it. But I think Sad Boy Shamrock Cookie would take it for me now. Mine used to be Sugar Lips by uh, da, da, da. Drip Axe. Uh, Flavor Boss, that was, wasn't it? Flavor yes, Boss. Yes, that was Chris. it. Flavor Boss, yes. Um, or Vaporoni's cu- uh, Custard Crack. <laughs> I love that. Seriously, I still love to vape that. Yeah. It's, no. Mm-hmm. Hayley uh, Lloyd, I'm interested to hear what yours are. It, it's a tough one. Right, squad. It's, um, I, I used to eat fruits all the time, and then I, I tasted the caramel custard from Vaporoni. That's sort of. <laughs> That sort of got me into to desserts, funny enough. Uh, was um, that before or after my review, Lloyd? Eh, no, it was just when I, I first like sort of went into vaporoni. Oh, right. Um, I was like, God, I didn't even really like desserts. And I was just like, try this, you'll love this anyway. <laughs> I was like, all right then. So that, that, that was the sort of just that got me into desserts. Um, and I, I daily vape that, pretty much. Uh, but before that, I would... I was always on um, the awesome Japanese peach. That is really fucking lovely. But it's hard to find shops that stock it. Yeah. Hayley, what's yours? Um, I love blackjack as a flavour. Absolutely adore blackjack. So obviously, if anyone's trying to blackjack, they can vary in taste and if it's not a hard hitter I don't like it and my very favourite blackjack that I've ever had was from Ferocious Vapes and it was their Halloween version of their blackjack because it was a higher concentrate and it was just full of flavour a bit of a tank becker though and once you dripped it you can never get the flavour out of the dripper either Ever, ever. No, but I've had I've had loads of blackjacks and they've all been disappointments. All oh, right. They've, they've not hit that spot. It's been worse than sex. You've got oh yes, a blackjack. You yeah, know. So no. moving on swiftly. The next, <laughs> the next question is from Craig. What do you guys think of the clutch X eighteen coming so out? So this is the dual eighteen six fifty clutch, yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah, I mean, to be honest with you. There's nothing wrong with another version of the clutch coming out for me. I mean, my my six, my six, big... I mean, are they flogging a bit? Of a, are they flogging it a bit? But a little bit. I mean, but anything that comes from the, the, that sort of SQ, obviously SQ, love SQ mods. The fact that when Dovco got involved, for me, the quality didn't drop at all. Um, I thought they were excellent. Yeah. And obviously the clutch, the, the clutch originally was designed to be a small, single twenty one seven hundred. Yeah, I mean, twenty one seven hundreds are there, and they're a better battery. But um, there are still a lot of people. I mean, I've still got fucking bucket loads of eighteen six fifties, and that's pretty much primarily what I use now. So for me, yeah, great. I love it. I think yeah. it's a great idea. Not a fan of the name though. The X eighteen. Yeah. That's even very was, SQ. Even if it was a D eighteen. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think they could have just rebranded it away from the clutch to something else. Still, still mm. slap Mike Vape's name on to get the sales. You know. Yeah, my my biggest concern is will the internals handle it? Are them? Are they going to upgrade that internal contact because that's going to be a bit more rump going through there? Twenty oh, one. Um, no, I'm on about the 21. actual contacts, Josh, not the cells. Yeah, no, but yeah, but still. I mean, I used to my my clutch, my not my clutch, but my uh, my Dovpo SQ I used to run ridiculously low builds on that. It was fine. Yeah. You know, I'd, yeah. quite, I'd quite happily stick a point point zero point point zero five on it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't do that. <laughs> um, don't do that. I mean, what's this in this one? So I've put this on that because I thought it'd be a bit safer. But that's a that's a point zero six. 
It will be. It's the DNA, isn't it? But it's all right on the DNA. Yeah. It's not. It's not. Still don't do it. No, but, but it, it kind of is. I'll put, I'll put it on a Mac if you want. <laughs> Just blows up on the Alex V. <laughs> you said what that's, Josh that's, boys that's, this week? It's also a point zero six. Uh, Robert's saying that's the one with the fuse in it. Yes, it's the the, the fuse that will snap if if it shorts anywhere. I think. Yeah, I mean, so it's got some safety in mind. For yeah. me, I'd kill it. That's the problem. It's got a MOSFET then. Yeah. So it's not a mech. Anyway, um, I, I, to, 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 be, to be honest with you, I've got no issues with them bringing out more products because I think all their products have been yeah. pretty spot on so far. So hopefully, hopefully it continues. Yeah, and uh, it's a very good combination they've got going there with SQ and Dogpo and Suicide and Dogpo and everyone else. Works really well, really well. And it brings down the price, which is always good for the vapor. Yeah, um, Robert, just to just to let you know, uh, if if Expo goes ahead, I'm sure most of us will be there. So please come and say hello, get your photos. I'll sign anything you want. I say if you need no resources, <laughs> I'll take you tickets. Um, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll try. You normally and... come to me and go, "Oh, do you need tickets?" And he's like, "Yeah, I'll have a ticket." <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, go express." Uh, what's it? Um, I don't know. The first time I went, I bought a VIP ticket. The second time I went, I bought a VIP ticket. And then Mike was like, you don't need a ticket. Like, he just gave me a fucking vendor's badge. He's like, sweet, let's walk around with this all day. <laughs> <laughs> first time I went, I had a Sunday pass. Second time I went, I had the VIP ticket. And then the next time I had, I went, uh, Vinny got me the press pass. Yeah, we we'll all have press passes. Mm. Press pass. Metal yeah, bridge. Probably where we have the, the IP ones. To be honest, the only difference between a VIP and a standard three-day ticket, it, well, a weekend ticket, is you get to go on the Friday with the B to yeah. B, and you get a goodie bag. See, that yeah. didn't bother us. What? Um, what? Well, and you're allowed, you're allowed to sit in the VIP area, which is just yeah. literally just to sit there. No, Simon's not great with crowds. To be able to come in early before the crowd hit, meant he could get further into the expo before the crowd like What what you want to do, like so I know this isn't open to everybody, so the expo's over three days. So you have the Friday, which is the which is the B2B day, the business day, right? You've got the Saturday and the Sunday. Saturday's always rammed, Sunday's always a bit quieter. But you can, if you want to pay a little bit more, you can buy a VIP ticket and you can get into the B2B day, which is the Friday. They're limited. But if you want to go and have an expert experience but not have too many people around, that's the day to go. Um, usually there's better deals going around. They, they, Lots of the guys will ask to check what sort of ticket you have. If it's a VIP ticket, they'll still sort you something out. Um, but it's that if you want to go, they, they're a little bit extra. Um, but... If you want to go and you want to go quiet, the Friday, the He's Friday is the, the best day. day to go because you you can you can actually have a bit of time to talk to some of these people. I mean, you do anyway, but like and and all the guys that come over are always willing to just have a chat. Saturday's you know I mean? a definitely the busiest day. Sat yeah. Saturday's mental. So sat Saturday, Saturday's you know, very loud. It opens it opens at ten on a Saturday, um, and it closes at five and from about 11 till about four it's pretty mental yeah. um, mm. sunday's always a bit quieter um and there's there's particular booths that are always mental so mental so the evo booth which is usually smack bang in the middle biggest booth of the lot is always packed yeah always yes round. Mm. um but if you want to go and you want it to be a bit quieter just spend a little extra buy a friday ticket go on the friday limited numbers nice and quiet you can talk to anybody you want um it's, it's it's more about the whole vaping side of it than it is about the fuck me, there's shit those people there, let's make a bucket load of money. Yeah. Because that's yeah. what they're there for. It is nice on a Friday just to walk around and enjoy speaking to people. You haven't got the blaring music either. You've obviously not got the people running around, chucking things. So it is more relaxed. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think they have the stage on... No. The Freudies. Um, 
the music is I don't they don't tend to have the music on just like oh, on the little booths and that lot on the Friday, but that's really it. Yeah. Uh Sundays there as Simon says, it's more the free shit hunters yeah. that hoping like the vendors are like, well, I'm not taking it back, just here take it kind of thing. Hey, I like Sundays. <laughs> that does not surprise me at all. No, I was about to say, not shop there. Uh, I got a hog for 70 quid on Sunday. That's all I'll say. Wow. That's that the one that, that you that... sold for 200 quid. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, Fridays are really interesting. They really are interesting, Simon. They're, uh, you get to see a bit of the uh, underside of the vaping world, I suppose. Um... I don't think I've been I on a Friday. It. I honestly don't think I've been on a Friday. The way I see it is the Friday is for buying, Saturday is for hanging with your friends, the Sunday is to... The, 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 fr- the, Friday, the Friday is the business to business day, so it really is just the companies talking to each other, the retailers and, and, and like setting up new relationships and shit like that. But you can get in now if you buy a VIP ticket. So um, that's all you need to remember. All the dodgy deals, yeah, all the dodgy deals. Well, that's the thing that makes the community, the the, the industry in the country work. Let's be honest. The only hmm. thing you've not got to want on a Friday is one-offs because they won't sell them because they want them off a show for the weekend. Yeah, so all like weekend. If you, go, if you go to like a small modder or the modders gallery, so you've got the modders gallery, which is just like the smaller modders and they might make mods or they might make RDAs. And... Does anyone remember that um that crazy French dude? Yeah. <laughs> They had the cool well, dip, corks. Had that, cork, yes. He had that RDA and that RDA was cool as shit. And he had those cork drip tips. And he was like, so what I do is I have this this liquid. It was like an alcohol, it was like an alcohol flavor lit, like liquid. And he was dripping, he was putting the cork drip tips into like brandy and letting them soak. Yeah. And then you oh. vaped. And it was amazing. Yeah. It was really cool. Yeah. Um and it was actually proper alcohol. Come off yeah. the ease French. <laughs> He was he was there in his French in his French foot in his French football shirt like hey he's he was cool as fuck I he, I took his card and I lost it somewhere but no goes <laughs> no no go zone vapors I think it was but yeah the guy was crazy um, loved him though I have one of my friends that comes from the Netherlands and he'll easily drop about three to four grand that's his own personal money then for MCN I think it is or something like that. He'll drop another five to six for them. Wow. And that's just over the three days. He'll <laughs> keep on for a few months and then he'll sell them on for a profit in his own country. Fucking hell. I'm trying to think who that is, Chris. Ove. Oh, yeah. You have to remember. Oh, yeah. for, uh, Better get saving for it then. In this country, <laughs> to, yeah. well, the last two times I've been to x I've took about 1,500 quid. To yeah. spend. Lloyd, you will be like a kid in a candy shop, my friend. It is. It's, hey, it's, uh, exactly. A kid that's got no money. It's insane. <laughs> Get paying that credit card off, buddy. It's, it's, like, oh, so it's took, paid off, yeah. I took a loan for it. Took about 50, <laughs> both, 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 both times I've been, about £1,500 to spend. That's more than I've ever taken on all three. That's that. I didn't tell much. That's more than I've taken to all three added together. Yeah, that's what I'm on about. <laughs> yeah. I think I the most I, I ever don't, spend but, but I don't, was the I don't, last one. And that is usually, that, that includes like me obviously drinking. Well, <laughs> that, so you mean the 1500 pounds just to cover your bar bill? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you, you guys saw me at breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that was God. a good day, man. I, I can't wait for an expo. I really yeah, can't wait. It's, it's long gonna overdue. Be, it's going to be absolutely banging to see everybody at an expo again and just fucking. Do you know what? Just be able to give you all a fucking hug. Yeah. It will Yay. be cool, man. Now, Vinny, are you going to have that breakfast again? No. I'll do yeah. what I did before. Don't go to Witherspoon for uh, a breakfast. I'm, I'm, I'm go fortunate. to a Mackey's drive through on your way there and get a nice big fat fucking breakfast. I'm, unfortunately, <laughs> for, unfortunately, we... Breakfast that, like, like, gets through the whole day. Unfortunately for us, thanks to COVID and the way America is, we have lost a few amazing companies and a few amazing people that would probably be there. Um, like Kennedy. Max, Maxine Kennedy. from Death Wish. Maxine was yeah. always there. Legend. Really nice guy. Yeah. Um, you know, a few others. I mean, I always love them because like, I, I always have that Indian on the Friday night with a certain 
team. <laughs> and then I always and I always managed to flag myself into the Chinese on the Saturday night, which is just insane. You need to try and get a slot in. Yeah, maybe. Kev, you need the next one. We need to show you where you need to be heading, buddy. There's little stands all around that will have some very nice mech porn on the go. It's just a case of finding them. Like literally, and... I I will literally walk booth to booth. Like, what's in this booth? What's in this booth? And they've usually got stuff hidden as well. Yeah. They can't display yeah. everything they bring, and they've got stuff hidden. Um, and it's got to last them over all the days as well. Yeah. That's the thing. You'll find a lot of times you'll go on one day and ask for a certain product, and they'll say, sorry, we're sold out. But the next day, they'll have more of them out. It's just um, they have set amounts for the day. I remember when I went to the last one I went to, and obviously I was on a mortal team, then, and the first person I went to went to see Ariel. Just to catch up. Hey, Ariel, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, we've just released this RDA. Like, it's UK release. They released it at that expo, which was the Resurgence. Got it just there. The <laughs> Resurgence. <laughs> and, and I was the very first person in the UK to have one. Um, I didn't pay for it. Ariel gave me his own <laughs> personal one. It's literally off his mod. He was like, do you want Do you want one? He's like, yeah. He's like, you go, have this one. Just screwed it off his mod and gave it to me. Um, I was like, fucking sweet, cool. He's like, the coils in it are a bit shit, though. They were built by this guy, and they're not very good. <laughs> so I went, and, <laughs> I went and recoiled it. Um, and but he was. Oh, one that year Randy was on the store, was it? No, no, no. That was that was that was two years before. Yeah, yeah. when Andy was making coils and he got bitten by that fucking false black widow on his fucking thumb. His <laughs> yeah. fucking thumb. <laughs> and he was still building coils with this thumb that was like. Take my strong hand, child. It was massive. <laughs> it was like that. <laughs> it was huge. Um, but yeah, that was a really good year, and it, it was the year they were supposed to. Errol just made the atom. Yeah. And he was supposed to bring it over, and he he was late getting to the airport in the states and left it in his car. Oh no! Nice. So I've got this new mod to show you all, and I couldn't fucking bring it because I left it in my car. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. A man, but that, that that thing went well. That went down so well, the arm. Yeah, right, yeah, some of the old viewers doing a nose rip on my overpowered. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, man. and uh, <laughs> Dez on my bloody what was that, what was I had there? I can't remember what you I had, had the Stormbreaker. Yeah. Yeah, you are right. The Sunday is a good day. Like getting towards the end of the day Sunday, you can just get some deals because especially American companies because. Lots of the guys, you've got to remember, they, they bring it over. In like, yeah. They don't, they don't no, want to take it they back. They don't want to ship it back. I don't blame them. That's the good day for hitting AV. It's just the most of the Chinese companies, for some funny reason, uh, they do not do deals. Uh, well, I remember that was also the year. Uh, the last expo was the time that the that, that second-gen Orion got released. Yes. And we went over. I went over with a good friend, Mike, and he wanted to buy one. They are like, we can't sell you one. Oh, what do you mean? Mm. Oh, we've got none for sale. Yeah, didn't have any women, did they? So what, what do you mean we've got none for sale? You've just released this mod. And he was like, well, can I buy that one? And they were like, no. He was like, well, can I come back on the, at the end of the day Sunday? But they are like, no. It's like, what? What What, what like, was the point of being it there? It makes no sense. Like, Yeah. They are quite clearly didn't have no stock made. They literally had the protos and that was it. Yeah. For the launch. So they obviously had an error in manufacturing that day, but they must have lost thousands for that. Yeah, they could have sold fucking shit loads of them. Yeah. <laughs> shit loads of them. Yeah, that was definitely Vinny at the last expo. Key vape. Oh, yes. Yes, I Fuck remember. Hell, Vinny. Just, yes, I remember. Just so you know, when, we, when we're talking expo, we are all talking actual expo, Birmingham expo. Yeah. It's the one to go to. Yeah. yeah, I really enjoyed the Manchester one though as well, personally. That one was kind of fun. I was, um, I got knocked out by a bottle because I was after a night shift and I stood in the wrong place. I didn't realise and a bottle got thrown in my head. <laughs> <laughs> didn't so he didn't do much brain damage. That full of stuff and I was like, oh, okay, thank you. But yeah, I stood at the wrong pillar thinking I was out of the way and I wasn't and this bottle just came straight between my head. So it had a soft landing then? Yeah, I said, I didn't feel it. It's like, fine. You literally got me going, what's happened? And they're like, we're so sorry. Here, 
have this work sign. I was like, okay, thanks. <laughs> that always happens at Expo, time. though. Someone so gets we... hit in that melee at Expo, they get given so much stuff, it's mental. I yeah, think... just keep them quiet. <laughs> yeah. Fair, I went to the London one before, obviously, lockdown happened, and that was really good fun. I I've was never been to the oh, Birmingham. Oh, yeah, off my rock, but it was so much fun. Robert says the London one was shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have fun. It's how you take things, though. That's the thing. I was quite happily chatting to people. It was quiet, but that means I got to chat to people. I got to ask them questions and actually find out about the products rather than just grab and run. So I enjoyed it. Yeah, Nick, uh, they're definitely not doing the Manchester one again. Emil, who put it on, it was just, it was a major loss. Um, and the stalls didn't make a great deal of money, but they made some amazing business contacts. And I loved the Manchester one because that's where I got my AVs. And I met the... I say, look- watching people get random tattoos was awesome. <laughs> yeah. You, know, yeah. you get so much juice if you get this tattoo. And I was like, yeah, yes! And I was like, really? No, no, don't do it. And they did it. But the thing about the Manchester one was really strange. I was the big name reviewer there, <laughs> which was really weird because no bugger else went. <laughs> yeah, that's all. It's all about the Birmingham Expo. Yes. Yeah. At the NEC, it's the one to go to. I know it can be a travel. I mean, for me, it takes me. Two and a half hours to get there. Yeah, about to say for me, Josh Lloyd will have to fear this during me. Six hours yeah. on the train. I fear Lloyd. Well, this yeah, time when fun. this time when I go, my plan is with anybody because usually I stay in a hotel with Andy, um, Mike, uh, Paul. My plan is this time to fuck the hotel room and just get an Airbnb. Yeah, could be the way to go. I've, I've already found one that's just. A bit, it's a, it's a 10 minute drive from there and it's like the six bedroom place fucking massive garden the works and it would work it would cost us less than all of us to have the hotel rooms that's good like quite, quite a lot less because you split it over the six of you yeah Lloyd uh, there's always the hope that a certain Edinburgh store might be uh, at the expo so you might be able to come down with them guys maybe um I don't know if they, they drive down or if they get the train now. I think if they're doing a stall, they'll drive because they yeah, bring a, they'll bring the stock, won't they? So uh... they'll send a van down with stock, and then yeah, that's the way mm. most people do. Anyway, I think uh, there's any more questions. I think I think that wraps wraps it up for the night. Really? Yeah. In the nice, yeah. We've been Chill. off for two hours twenty minutes. Time flies when you're having fun. Yes. And obviously, happy birthday, especially to you three. Happy birthday. You've managed two years. Well, not I've managed two years. I wasn't well, OG, right. but... Chris and Vinny have managed two years. Josh, you've managed quite a long time. Yeah, been here a while. Yeah, a long while. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking two years. And obviously, to the other oh, guys, no. it's like, yeah, <laughs> those guys, but there is more people behind the scenes. And there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, and there yeah. will be a lot more going on to to do this next expo, which I'm excited about. So now I'm yeah. a bit more motivated for it, and I seem to have a bit of energy back. Not much, yeah. but a bit. I'm getting my juices flowing again. Well, we're all here to help as well. You've got the whole team. <laughs> Fuck um, off, Simon. I ain't got Simon. It's all good. Traitor. <laughs> <laughs> I got victims of what's up on Sunday. Um, I'm sorry, but I know you were watching that earlier, Simon. So, what are you talking about? Yeah. Bye then, Josh. Take us out, buddy. Bye, Bye, people. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Love you all. Thanks, guys. Love Much all love. For watching. Take it easy. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Peace out.